What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. And this week we're going to be showing you how to crop a hoodie. Because you might have a hoodie that you don't wear anymore because it's too long and you want to have that nice boxy fit. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Very easy, simple steps, nothing crazy. All you're going to need is a hoodie, and some scissors, of course, and a sewing machine. And you're all set. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the front pocket. And for that, you can just use scissors, a seam wrapper, a blade, whatever gets the job done. Just go ahead and do it. Just be very careful because as you are gonna see here in a minute, I made a few holes and here you go. So it should look like this and you can kind of see the holes that I made, which it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna cover them up with the pocket again. But same thing, just take your time with it. After you're done with that, just go ahead and remove the ribbon or just the, like the bottom part of it. Just go ahead and finish that up and you should be left with something like this. After you're done with that, just go ahead and remove the pocket, remove the bottom and make sure you clean all of this. Just take all the threads out. You can use one of those lint rollers or you just can kind of do it with your hand. Like I'm doing it here, just make sure you do that. After you're done with that, just go ahead and take a shirt that you like the length of it and just measure how long it is. So here's a shirt that I was wearing at the beginning of the video. And this is actually gonna be 21 inches long. So after you have that measurement, just go ahead and measure that onto the shirt. So it's gonna be 21 inches long, like I said again, and I'm just gonna use my chalk. So make a line there at 21 inches and then that's where you want the bottom to be. So go ahead and grab that ribbon Put it back up and that's where the ribbon is going to end. So I'm going to here measure the ribbon in a second. It's going to be around 3 inches long. So you want to go ahead and trace another line where the 3 inches is. So it will be 21 minus 3. And then just go ahead and trace a line there. And that's where you're going to cut it. After that, just go ahead and make sure that it's even all sides. So from that line to the bottom, half seven inches. So I'm gonna trace lines on each side, just seven inches, just to make sure it's really even. And after you're done with that, just trace a line all across from the shirt. That's where you're gonna cut it. After that, just turn it around. And in the back, I just like to do a little bit longer just so it doesn't pull from my back that much. So I'm actually gonna do six inches in the back, so an inch less. Just go ahead and repeat the whole process again. Make a line and then make sure it's even, and then just go ahead and trace that line again, just so you have that nice finish. And you might be asking, oh, but how do I match the back and the front? And what I like to do is just, I, I just fold it where the seam is, and I just kind of trace the line going down to the back. It doesn't have to be perfect and then I can just go ahead and cut that and in a second here you're gonna see how I can kind of just like fold it in the middle and I just match the front line with the back here it is just cut around the whole thing and you just have a clean nice drop once you're done with all the cutting just go ahead and put the pocket back up to its original place just make sure it's really centered with the middle of the hoodie there and then line it with the bottom as well just so you can have a nice neat finish and after you're done with all of that you can go ahead and put the ribbon back up go ahead and put it upside down just so when you saw it and you fold it out it'll have a clean nice finish like the original and what i like to do is i like to match the seams there just so it has that nice professional finish and you might also run into a problem where the band is actually smaller than the actual hoodie just go ahead and stretch it as you're pinning it in It'll just give it that nice stretchy look. It'll look really good, just trust me. After you're done with that, just go ahead and pin it. I'm gonna be using clips, and if you've seen all my other videos, you know that I use these clips all the time. They're a lifesaver. I just don't have to pin the whole thing. It's just way easier for projects like this. So just go ahead and pin all around the brim. Just make sure you do it on just one side. And as you can see, this is the finish you're gonna get. And now it's time to take this party to the sewing machine. So go ahead and take that and sew around the whole brim of it. And once you're done with that, you're gonna be left with a nice clean finish like this. Just go ahead and lay it flat. Make sure the pocket is on its place and pin that down to make sure you don't get any creases when you're sewing it together. And please don't sew the opening of the pockets. You'll be surprised how many people do this. Go ahead and put all that together in the sewing machine. And this is the final result. Cropped hoodie, perfect fit, boxy look, perfect. This is a reminder how I used to look before. 
long, not valid, definitely not valid. And here's how it's gonna look now with the little rewinding. Let me know how I did and let me know which way you like it better. That's all, thank you. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And definitely tap me on Instagram if you do end up doing the hoodie. And I'll see you guys in the next one.